hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing well i recently have been like looking at a lot of sephora hauls and unboxings and you know i'm, I'm just sitting in my room thinking hmm must be nice but my time is finally here my sephora haul got here today it actually reached my skybox like a few days ago but they did have some flight delays between my courier service and getting it to trinidad so i mean i really don't care about all of that i just i mean with everything going on in the world right now it's safety first it's health first so yeah my package came late wah, wah, wah. but it's finally here and i won't lie I went a little bit crazy and in my defense this sale only comes like what twice a year so I have to fully advantage it I mean I don't have to but I like to I really have a problem with shopping <laughs> so um, if you're looking to see if I am I am not that friend I am NOT that person to come to I'm terrible with spending so I will get help, I promise. I will get help. I'm trying to have a little bit more self-control. Like I promise for the rest of the year, I would go on a no buy, which I've promised for the last two years. So we'll see how it goes, but I really plan on being strong this time, even if it means I have to block trend mode. So anyway, I don't want this intro to be long at all. I know you're just waiting to dive into that box just like myself i was just able to go through the products like very briefly and like while i was sanitizing them so i didn't really like you know i was just kind of like literally that's it because you know i want to share this moment this joy and excitement with you all because so much of you especially on my instagram have been like dming me like, like you know i can't wait to see a whole other bitch i know we excited and yeah so let me jump right in there are over like 40 plus items in this box and you know i'm seeing like everybody with their sephora hauls and they like have their box and they're like, mm, and like mm. this box is 12 pounds i i catch my ass to lift this box today there's a fly not a fly it's like one of those little teensy weensy flies sour flies we call them i don't know what we're doing here as i was saying so yeah like all of these influencers they have like their box and they're looking all cute and i'm just like how am i gonna lift this but you know what i know y'all want me to lift this heavy so let me jump right into this video there's not going to be any kind of organization whatsoever in this video there's no method at all i'll literally just be pulling products out saying what it is and boom let's jump in so i'm gonna swirl my hand around and shake it up because i kind of saw already what was on top and this is the Too Faced better than sex liquid eyeliner pen i really really wanted to try this now y'all know i love my affordable eyeliners but i've been hearing like such great things about this particular eyeliner like i have to try it it's really fine it really looks almost like fendi i want to say but excited to try this this does retail for 21 us so it's not that bad really excited to see if it's worth the price it's the born this way concealer i know i've never tried it i've actually never tried any of Too faced um complexion products so i'm really excited i just opened it from the bottom dumbass 
but this is in the shade warm sand honestly look at the size of this thing it looks like a foundation it's ridiculous you do get a lot of product in here which is amazing and i believe this retails for 29 us dollars this looks like a perfect shade for me super excited to try you it's the fenty cream bronzer i was really excited to start trying cream products ever since i cream contoured so of course when i saw this coming out i was just like yes i have my little helper here my tweezers because you know these long nails not my friends right now so i got the shade teddy oh this is cute oh like you can see me on my phone hey bitch so this is the oh oh okay i saw rob you see christy talk about this on her channel where she had like a little bit of sweating on her product which fancy they did respond and say it's totally fine it's just you know with the different temperature adjustments through transit it's bound to happen because it's a cream product but they said it's totally safe to use like i don't know if you could see it it just has like yeah you could see it there just like some light spots across it which we've all seen like on lipsticks and so on before but I'm still gonna have and use it because this was 32 US. Okay, this is really, really tiny. This is the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Blush. This is in the shade Strawberry Drip. Okay, I did not expect them to be so tiny. I mean, I've been seeing people saying, oh my god, these are tiny. But this is really tiny. I can't believe how excited I am for this video. Sorry, I know that was really random, but makeup just makes me so happy and just ugh, i don't want to cry but it just really brightens my soul and i know makeup does the same thing for a lot of people that i know so i really hope you guys enjoy this video give it a thumbs up if you do so anyway back to cream bronzers i mean blushes oh wow oh there's no fragrance which is cool that is so pretty but look how tiny this is like compared to the cream bronzer that is hella tiny it's like i have small hands and look at this it's smaller than my hand but it's so cute i love this oh really excited to try this Jouer concealer girls what's wrong with you this is in the shade honey now i use their concealer this is super full coverage really really good um this does retail for 22 us i normally use the shade dolce de leche but i find that to be too close to my foundation color so i went just a little bit lighter and this looks like it would do a really really nice job at yep really give me that brightening highlighted effect that i love oh, bitch you thought this is the herbivore botanicals lapis facial oil you all know by now how much i love 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 skincare sorry skincare and facial oils this is their lapis facial oil it's so loud outside it has like such oh my god oh yeah it has like such a light herbal fragrance to it it smells so delicious and just you know you're putting good stuff on your skin when you use it this was like extremely expensive this retails for 77 us dollars but i did buy the mini and it works tremendously but you all know i prefer to invest more into my skincare than actual makeup 
so that is why I was really happy to invest in this oil it's like literally one oil that does everything for my skin really helps to balance out any redness any soreness on my face which you know I really appreciate you know I wear a lot of makeup so I have to remove a lot of makeup I spoke about this oil in my last video so you can check that out where I talked about my April flames what else we got in here Ooh, my super goop lip balm this does have SPF 30 it's a lip balm with acai so I've really been thinking about taking much better care of my skin especially when it comes to like the Sun because I won't lie like I would take care of my skin with really good skincare products and then I would just do something stupid and go out to the sun with no protection whatsoever but you know lately I've been like you know using sunscreen and all of that which we'll get into soon but this super goop lip balm has I think this was like one of their latest products it did launch during the sale so I was really really happy to grab it and yeah I want to treat my lips much better because that's definitely one area of my face I really don't pay much attention to but you know a girl had a little situation recently and yeah I treated my lips so well so I'm really really excited to try this this would be great during the day so the super goop lip balm does retail for 9.50 US oh this is the wishful yoglo enzyme scrub this is from Huda Beauty skincare brand now they do have the large one but this mini actually launched during the sale so of course you know a girl always likes to try minis before investing in the full size but honestly this is a lot of product for a mini it has like 1.35 ounces considering that you only need like what a dollar of this this is really good this was 21 you yeah i think it was 21 us dollars so i'm really excited to try this you know i'm really intrigued by seeing how all of these oh oh it's sealed i can't smell it but i'm really intrigued to see if this really works like is it really dead skin that's rolling off my face or is it just a product like i don't know i'm genuinely concerned if that's a gimmick so i really want to test that this is a replenishment here this is the ordinaries 100 percent organic cold press rose hip seed oil this is one of my favorite facial oils we know this oh my goodness i still have like some left in my current bottle but this is my backup and i'm really excited for this whoops forgot the price of it though so my bad okay like i said i've really been into skincare and this is the tatcha kisu lip mask i hope i said that right it's a japanese peach seed jelly you all know i love me some japanese skincare girl honestly tatcha's packaging is so cute oh oh i see a spatula oh my gosh how freaking cute is this look, 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 look at this how cute it really does look like a jelly like honestly it looks like it wants to fall out it's kind of it's not jiggly but oh it smells so nice it has like a really light fruity scent it's nice it looks good excited to try it of course everything that I show you all today I'll follow up with a review video soon so mm, this looks promising and this does retail for 28 us dollars which is kind of pricey but i mean it's tatcha and um yeah it's tatcha oh angel baby this is the artist couture diamond glow powder i think they basically started the trend of loose highlighters or powdered highlighters not powdered dummy loose highlighters yeah 
Ate's Couture is owned by Mac Daddy and he is such a sweetheart on Instagram. He's just a lovely, lovely person or what seems to be a lovely person. I mean, you can swear he's my friend the way I talk about him, but I like the thing that we're friends. But this is their Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Conceited. It did look like a really rich gold color. I'll have swatches and everything coming up soon. You might quicker see it on my Instagram. So be sure you're following a bitch. This does retail for 27 US dollars. And I really like the packaging. Like it's very sleek but yet minimal. Like with just the black and gold. I really really like this. Did I need another highlighter? No. But I really wanted to try this formula because it just seems to be like so iconic in the beauty world. So super dope to try this. What you got for me, Seth? <laughs> this is honestly, what is that noise I make every time I grab a product? It sounds like a constipated velociraptor, but just ignore it. This is the Fast Sally Liquid Powder Oil Balancing Serum. This I spoke about again in my last video. It's one of my favorite products to help balance oil and just keep your makeup on all day long. But I really, really enjoy this. It's the only product that is helping me right now. It's actually what I am wearing right now. So yes, I do have a full bottle, but I still wanted to have this in case it's sold out. So I'm glad to have a backup because I am literally not going to stop using this product ever in my life like i just want to have a dedicated shelf full of liquid powder serum that is how much i swear by this product it's really good if you have oily skin i highly recommend it look into this product i keep forgetting to tell you all the price that's why i have to like jump back on sorry this is 54 us dollars this is the inky list glycolic acid face toner I originally wanted to try the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toner but that went out of stock so fast because it was really cheap. It was like I think 8 US dollars or something but I looked for the next best glycolic affordable product, well toner and this came up. This is by the brand called The Inkey List which is a really clean brand as well. They're also cruelty free. Oh, by the way, if I did not say that, all of these products here are cruelty free. So, mm, I know some of you all don't understand what cruelty free means. It basically, in the simplest of terms, means that the brand does not test on animals. So, as I was saying, this toner does retail for $10.99, which is extremely affordable, but considering the amounts in here, it's like... It's 3.4 fluid ounces compared to the ordinary. I think that was like a really large bottle. It was like 8 fluid ounces and it's cheaper. But I'm still intrigued to see how this works. I mean, it's still super affordable and it's a decent amount of product. But we shall see because this does have like really good reviews on Sephora's site. So up next, I have my Mario Badescu spray. You all know how much I love mario badescu sprays i have the green one which is like the cucumber melon one and i still have like half of that and it's well it's in my fridge this is the aloe herbs and rose water spray so this also smells like really nice it has like a really light floral fragrance and um it's not overpowering at all but i really like how this feels on my skin too so just to switch things up i chose this fragrance instead Boom! What you got there? Ooh! This is the Anastasia Lash Brag Mascara. I really like was blown away when I saw how these made people's lashes like really look lifted and full. So oh my god, this is heavy. Now this feels hella expensive. Oh by the way, this retails for 12 US dollars. This really does have like some weight to it and the packaging is so pretty like it has like this smoked out black faded into rose gold that is really gorgeous packaging 
but it, it was pricey like mascara is not one of those products i tend to spend a lot of coin on because i wear lashes like majority of the time i wear lashes and when i'm not wearing lashes i would use my affordable mascaras and they would they get the job done like it's just a little mascara chances are i'm going to class so i'll throw on some mascara throw on my glasses and it, it looks fine but i don't know for some reason i'm really really excited to try this formula so look out for a review we're not halfway there yet <laughs> Ooh, we have some bisatacha <laughs> this is the deep cleanse and water cream oh i purchased this with my points this was in their rewards section but this has their water cream and their deep cleanser but look how cute this little thing is oh my goodness this is the deep cleanse so i'm really happy to have this i'll actually put this away hide it from myself because i would use this for traveling this is mm, so good is this cleanser really really grew on me like the first few times i tried it i was like okay yeah this is nice but now it's just like the one cleanser that my skin just craves when i'm feeling like dull and just well this has so many rich japanese ingredients in here it's really really like i don't know it's just skin changing i really like it so i'm glad to have this set it did come along with the mini water cream which i have one of these already so like i said i'll put away this entire little kit here it's so cute i'll put it away for traveling oh bitch this is the by beauty agave nighttime lip therapy you all know how much i love this lip mask so i'm really excited to have it this is well it's a nighttime lip mask so i wear it in, at night and honestly when i wake up in the morning i have the juiciest softest plump lips i really really enjoy this but this is huge i was not exposed hello spatula hello honestly i just feel very bouge when something comes with a spatula it's the little things you know it, they matter but this is really huge this is like almost bigger than my color pop no filter setting powder this is huge i have a small one it did come in like a travel kit set but to me that was huge and this is like big bitch big mama but i still have a lot in that other container so this is going in my backup drawer <gasps> this is the ula henriksen banana bright serum yes banana bright vitamin c serum i probably um was excited for this product because uh, it's ula henriksen let me face it apart from tatcha this has to be one of my favorite high-end skincare brands well i mean tatcha is more luxe this is like high-end mid-range but this does retail for oh i forgot the by beauty agave lip mask retails for 24 us dollars which is not bad considering the size of this i'm probably gonna have this for like two years guaranteed back to this <laughs> i love how back and forth i am actually i don't it's terrible reviewing but this is their vitamin c serum and you know i'm getting a little bit down in age you know i'm, I'm aging like fine wine honey and vitamin c does have a lot of anti-aging benefits one of the reasons like i'm so excited to try this vitamin c in particular is because it also has 5% PHAs and hyaluronic acid. It also contains 15% vitamin C, which is a, like a really high amount of vitamin C. That is like really exciting to me because when I, you know, do my morning skincare, I go in with like my PHA or AHA toner, which is like from also Ola Henriksen, their Glow Spot toner. 
and then I go in with hyaluronic acid so it definitely helps to have like one product just do everything for me so I'm really really excited to try this this was a hefty price though it retails for 65 US dollars which is expensive but I mean can we really put a price on anti-aging products I don't think so oh my huda beauty easy bake powder oh my gosh this is by far my favorite powder not just for myself but for my clients as well it agrees with almost everyone i know i know the fragrance is like the biggest downfall of this product but it does go away so i still make sure to warn clients like hey it smells like old lady perfume but just don't breathe for a minute you'll be fine it's what I'm wearing right now and I just I can't get enough of this powder there's just no other powder that does it that way for me I mean I still have Fenty's powder to try out which I bought like a couple holes ago and just never used it because I'm a creature of habit so when I find a product that is like really amazing and does the job I kind of stick to it and that is what happened with this powder so I did buy a backup of it and it's the shade blondie so it opens like this has the powder inside it has instructions telling you how to bake and this i like i said is in the shade blondie this is like the perfect perfect color if you are my skin tone absolutely my favorite powder in the world what i like about this though is that when i'm traveling with my powder in my kit it does come with this cover but still somehow it gets messy like around the edges so i don't know Huda needs to really change this packaging because it's something not a lot of people complain about but considering how great the product is in here the actual product itself i have no complaints it's the best 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 and yeah really glad to have this in my backup drawer okay next is one product is probably one of the most exciting skincare products in this haul and it's the Fasali Rose Gold Elixir Gel Moisturizer. You all know by now how much I love Fasali. Like that whole brand to me is just I don't know what they did and I blame one of my best friends for it because she introduced me to the brand by sending me some of their products to try and since then like I've been hooked and so i blame her really really blame her i should send my bills to her but this look at this packaging oh my god oh my god i thought it came with a spatula oh you know i was going to make noise for my spatula because money spent and this was really expensive this was actually no compared to their other products this is really not that expensive for fasali it's expensive but not for fasali this retails for 39 us dollars and it's a gel moisturizer with hyaluronic acid and all that good stuff in there but i have to be careful because i saw some reviews online stating that when people opened it it literally just spilled out because it's so thin and runny and you all know me clumsy galore Ooh. Oh yeah, this very liquidy. I can't bend it. I can't bend it. I can't bend it. Okay, I can bend it a little. But this very runny. It's super, super thin. Ooh, it almost has the exact fragrance of their rose gold oil. Oh my god. I love it. It smells so fresh. It smells like, almost like fresh ginger. It smells really, really nice very uplifting so i'm excited to try this out under my makeup i really bought this like especially for under makeup because it's so lightweight i just want to get this out of the way because i did show it earlier on but this is another shade this is the shade that is closest to my skin tone this is the jouer high essential coverage concealer this is in the shade dolce de leche which is like i said before it's close to my skin tone so it's basically almost my exact concealer shade that's why i bought two one my exact shade and one lighter again this retails for 22 us dollars i picked up two okay what is this 
it's the ordinary hyaluronic acid you'll notice it's like my favorite favorite skincare product because it just adds so much hydration to my skin and i just love the way that my other products sit on my skin after i apply this so really really glad to have this backup i do have one in my fridge right now so this is again going in my backup drawer anything from the ordinary that i show you here is under 10 us for sure and that also includes the retinol 0.5% in squalene now i really wanted their gran active retinoid which is the product that genuinely helped my skin texture and it was out of stock and for the entire seal it was out of stock so i settled for this instead and it was pretty new on the website so there weren't a lot of reviews on it but i'm excited to see if it also helps with my skin texture which it claims that it does so i'll keep you all updated on this this is the first aid beauty intense hydration for dry parched skin safe for sensitive skin you know we love sensitive products here but i've never tried a first aid beauty products yet but i'm really excited i think i bought this with my points yeah i didn't buy this i bought this with my points so i'm really happy to have yet another hydrating product in my skincare so i'll test this out let you all know oh bitch this is the mama hair this is the tatcha liquid silk canvas oh you all know how much i love my tatcha silk canvas primer so when I saw that they came out with a liquid version of this, I was like, I took out, I took out twice, I took out three times. Kidding, I just bought one. But look at this. I mean, come on, this is, even if I didn't know who Tatcha was or who her husband was, I had to get this because this is such a Shinada product. Look at this color. Look, look at this. Look at this lilac, purple, heaven, scent item. Look at it. You can see it here, you can see it here, you can see it here, you can see it in my heart because that's where it belongs. I'm really, really excited to try this. I'll definitely do like a side-by-side -side review with the original like balm primer compared to this to see like how makeup lasts, that type of thing. So I'll keep you all updated on this, but I'm really excited to try this. Like you have no fucking idea how excited I am to try this. And it does retail for a whopping 52 US dollars, which is the same price as their Balm Primer. So there's a really big, bright yellow box in here watching me. And I think it's time we pull out. Yes, bitch. Ula Henriksen at it again. This is there. What do you call this box? Hats off to bananas. It's right here, dumbass. Hats off to bananas. And it came with this hat, which I'll probably give to my dad. <laughs> it's a banana hat. You know what? I will rock this hat. Try me. And it came also with their banana bright primer as well as my go-to eye cream their banana bright eye cream that is honestly such a fun packaging did that not brighten up your day it sure did mine i was browsing well not browsing but i was really just adding to cut what i needed first like my replenishments and this was one of them it's the banana bright eye cream you all know it's my favorite eye cream for brightening my under eyes this has helped me a lot and i have extremely dark circles i still do but compared to what it was or what it used to be this has helped me a lot a lot and i am so grateful that i tried this i can't go back and then i said you know what let me go to sephora's sale um section and see if i can get a seal on top of a seal and that is exactly what happened i was scrolling through and i saw this box hats off to banana it contained this this and this for 50 us dollars and this on its own retails for 36 us dollars so i was just like doing you know a little math in my head like 
and I was like you know what let me just swap that one eye cream for all of this for just like 11 US more come on it came like I bought the eye cream and I got this plus a hat for 11 US additional that is a hell of a steal of a deal this is the glow recipe my vanity set it does come with the watermelon mist which is like everywhere on instagram youtube it's just everywhere and i really really want to try it and this is their banana souffle cream and it also comes with their watermelon glow sleep mask now these two are minis and the spray is actually full size so this was a really really dope deal because the spray on its own is like 28 us and again I just decided to check on the brand site see if they have any sets available and I'm really really glad I got this because this banana souffle believe it or not I'm pretty much more excited to try than the watermelon sleep mask because I mean I don't know I don't know why because it is one of their latest products so really hyped to try it and I mean how freaking cute are these things gonna look in my fridge let's be real we we'll buy it for the fridge. I buy it for the fridge. I mean, come on. Can you imagine this in my fridge? Look at this. This does retail for forty-five US dollars. I don't know if I said that before. I don't know. Feeling kind of hungry. Blood sugar running low. But this is really great, and I can't wait to try it. And of course, I'll update you guys. I see another box I wanna touch. It's the Tatcha. What is this set called? The Deep Brightening Duo. This is their Vitamin C Serum as well as their Essence and it retails for 100 US which by the way is a steal of a deal because this alone retails for 88 US dollars and their Essence, well this is a small size compared to their large, well original size which retails for 95 US dollars I really wanted to try an essence and when I went on Sephora site almost all of the essences I saw there were not cruelty free and this was the, the only one but I was just like yo 95 US that's, that's a lot of money but then scrolling through Tatcha's page I saw that they had this set and it was new so I was just like oh my god this is like a match made in heaven because I wanted to try a vitamin C product and I know I got the Ula Henriksen product but when I saw the essence in here I was just like okay I definitely have to get this set and I know it's a hundred US it's a lot of money but I really want to test an essence because of so much skin benefits that they supposedly have I really want to test it for myself and then you know I'll start looking into more affordable essences so i'll keep you guys updated on these but oh my goodness i can't wait to try this i spy a palette this is the artist couture supreme nudes palette where's my finger i need help here we go this is his latest launch his nudes collection which looks so good i am not like a big nudes collection person but for some reason when i saw this i don't know maybe it's because i really like mac daddy like i just like his vibe he's so sweet and just different he's never in any drama i think that's what i love most about him but look look at this sleek bitch ass packaging wow oh my gosh this is this feels really really sleek is it the most luxe no but this does retail for 40 us dollars which is really really nice it's affordable like look at the shades in here it does have a like a really nice mirror it's protected so look at the shades in here this is definitely one of those palettes if you're like a very neutral girl you will enjoy this oh boy i don't judge this is so pretty i can't wait to swatch them and i know you're probably wondering oh, why aren't you like swatching these and showing us well because i haven't taken any picture content yet for my instagram so give me five jeez just relax so i'm really excited to see how this palette works you know we have to test if it's brown girl friendly 
so I'll let y'all know. Mm. This is the drunk. This is really big. Like I honestly thought it was gonna be so small. But this is the drunk elephant silly body lotion. This does have eight fluid ounces of products in here, which is a lot. And this retails for I think 20 US. How often is it you can get something from Drunk Elephant for 20 US? Probably never. So of course I had to snatch this. And I know like since we've all been in quarantine, we're obviously home. And I've obviously been home as well and spending a lot of time in my room. So my AC is on almost all of the time and it has been drying my skin like a bitch. So I'm really excited to try this lotion and see how hydrating it is. It does contain marula butter, 5 ceramide blend, pH 4.2. I don't know what any of those things mean, but I'll update you all soon. Next, I have two products from the Inkey list and they are both eye products. I bought a retinol. Honestly, I can't remember buying some of these things. Who is this? This is the retinol eye cream. And I don't know what it does. Well, retinol is supposed to help with aging. So I'm guessing I bought this because my eyes looking old, right? It says it reduces wrinkles and fine lines. Best for the first signs of aging Okay, so it looks like this it comes in a little tube. I think I remember these being under 10 US as well I could be wrong if they are they're probably just might maybe under 12 and this is their brighten eye cream It says it's four times more brightening than vitamin C a molecule which is activated by your own skin to brighten skin tone instantly illuminates and brighten will be the test of that because y'all know i have raccoon eyes also comes in a tube i really like this packaging oh and it has like one of those like the puffing applicators it's supposed to be like really cold so I, I might drop this in my fridge i'll probably reach out to the brand first and ask them if it's like fridge friendly because not everything you can buy and just shove it in your fridge you have to actually make sure the ingredients are compatible with cool temperatures so i'll reach out to them and i'll see how that works but imagine that cold just silver applicator under my eye that'll feel so good i think these are the two last lip products that i have so i just want to get them out of the way this is the artist couture nude lipstick in the shade saucy gal this was part of his collection along with the palette and i did order another shade but i think it's coming in my next shipment yes i do have another part of this haul it's really just like three products from this haul that are outstanding. I do have another Sephora haul I made on the last night of their sale because again, I have a problem. So let's move on. This is in the shade Saucy Gal. Again, this packaging is just so sleek and very much on brand with Artist Couture. Again, with the black and the gold, it's very, very sleek and really hard to okay. There we go. This is in the shade Saucy Gal again. Oh my god, I'm really excited to try this shade on my skin tone. It has like a really fruity fragrance to it not strong at all but there's like a hint of it which i like and he did say that it clicks really loud so you know that it's secured properly he also did say that they're silk cream lipsticks so they don't have a very matte finish but they're not like greasy looking on your lips it looks so well on him so i'm really excited to try this the other product that I have is by Jouer. It's the hydrating lip oil. Like I said before, I'm really into lip care a lot because, you know, 
it's just that one part of my skincare I ignored for a while and I'm making up for it so this is their hydrating lip oil this does retail for 18 US dollars which is not bad considering I mean there's like a lot of products in here and it's not I can definitely tell this is not like a product I'll reach for every day it's definitely for when like my lips are super chapped and I really wish this would come out okay okay there's no fragrance to this at all but look at this applicator it's like this chubby foot <laughs> I don't know how to explain it but it's like a super thick paddle which is nice it seems like it'll give you like one swipe coverage on your lips but this packaging is gorgeous very much like Stila vibes but I like it. It's lightweight. So I'll keep you all updated on how this actually works. <sighs> There's not a lot more in here. So let me just grab. Oh, this. I forgot about this. <laughs> this is a touch of water cream. This is called the gratitude size. Which is like a larger size compared to their regular water cream. When you open up the box, it does have like this little leaflet inside. Um, that explains to you what this limited edition version was and it basically said every single touch of purchase you have made has helped a girl attend school in Asia or Africa and receive important tools for a beautiful future through mentorship and life skills that cultivate inner strength I mean it's nice to know that okay I'm purchasing skincare but the brand is also given back to a community and that's really amazing and this is what the limited edition box looks like it's really gorgeous I don't think I'll throw this away this looks really nice and the actual product itself this is big the regular water cream I believe retails for 68 US dollars and it does have less product in there I think it has 1.6 ounces whereas this has 2.1 ounces and this retails for 80 US dollars and you do get like a little spatula to the top and you all know already how much I love this water cream it's one of my favorite moisturizers especially when on my no makeup days and even under makeup it's amazing amazing it literally turns like from this gel consistency as soon as you displace it on your face it turns into water it's a really fascinating formula to try and I love this and I'm really happy to have copped this limited edition because this packaging is like no other next I have my Ulla Henriksen glow spot dark toner you all know this is my favorite <laughs> toner by now this is what it looks like it's really cool packaging it's very sleek very minimal I still have some left in my other bottle so this is also going in my backup drawer and it retails for 28 US dollars this has helped my hyperpigmentation a lot if you do suffer with hyperpigmentation or just like acne spots that just really won't seem to go away I really suggest that you try this these two facial products I also bought with my reward points this is the pharmacy green clean makeup cleansing balm you all know how much I enjoy balm cleansers as well as oil cleansers so I'm really excited to try this little mini version and then I'll decide you know if I want to invest in the full size now I don't know if this brand is cruelty free I have to look it up but this is Lord Jones their high CBD body lotion so it's fragrance free um, it looks very bouge so it looks like it might be an expensive brand and it comes like this again it's a mini because I did buy this with my points and it comes in like this plastic packaging with a little pump so I'll let you guys know how this works and if they're cruelty free and everything I'll update you all as well I found one more fancy cream blush in there and this was in the shade summertime wine oh yeah I think this was the first one I added to my cart because it looked so oh my god it looks almost like my top yeah this is really pretty so I'll definitely be updating you guys on that Fenty cheeks out collection for sure but this also retails for 20 US dollars finally the last thing in my box is also a box and there's only one brand that at least I know 
in Sephora when you buy them, they put their stuff in a box. And that is Miss Natasha Denona. Since this palette came out in February, I wanted it so bad, but I was just like, nope, you're gonna wait for the sale. It's right there, literally around the corner. Calm your tits, bitch. This screamed my name so much. Like, oh, look at this pink palette. It's like a blush pink. I don't, I don't know colors. I don't know how to describe it, but it's so pretty. Look at it. Hold on, let me take this in first because <laughs> bitch. This is the Love palette. It retails for 65 US dollars. So again, yes, I love that this one is actually affordable. But look at the purples and the pinks in here. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to try this. I'll definitely be swatching this for my Instagram this week. So stick tuned for that. And that's it that is my entire haul um, for now I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you saw any products in here that you're thinking about getting or if you have it in your collection already let me know in the comments below I hope you guys had fun in this video I know I did and now I get to go play with all of this really cute new stuff I'm so excited so i hope you guys take care of yourself and just remain safe and don't worry this will all be over soon i promise you that I, i'm getting a vibe you know i'm just getting a vibe it could just be my period but i'm getting a vibe it's gonna go away really soon so keep praying keep your loved ones close and don't you forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when i upload a new video and also please check out my instagram and you know i'll definitely be posting like a lot of swatches reviews and just a lot of fun shit over there so deuces